Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me today. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this look right here using the James Charles palette. I kind of decided to do like a get ready with me before I go to work. So in lieu of that, I had to do a voiceover as opposed to a talk through. So I hope that's okay with you guys. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look right here, just please keep watching. All right. <clears throat> All right. So today I wanted to film a get ready with me before I go to work. Um, I'm thinking about doing blue smoky eye, maybe. Just because smoky eyes are the easiest and I really don't have a lot of time because I was sitting here cleaning my makeup brushes. Um, and actually speaking of the perfect thing, if I can find it, oh yeah, the perfect thing to clean your makeup brushes, I guess you could say like in between washes, um, my favorite thing is the brush bath by It, um, it Cosmetics. I have like a mini version that I just like to keep in my kit. Um, this is awesome. It cleans my brushes super, super well. Um, especially when I really don't have time to sit there and wash them with soap and water. So that is a really, really, really good alternative if you guys are looking for something to help clean your brushes. It really doesn't make them oily. It cleans them really well and you don't have to wait for them to dry. So that's always a big plus. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, yeah, today I think I'm going to go. I'm feeling blue. I am. I'm feeling blue. So I think I'm going to go, let me give her her creds. I really don't, oh, her ad name is Ho Cry. <laughs> um, uh, excuse me, my hotline is playing. Um, I think I'm going to go for something like that, yeah. I don't know, we'll see what happens, honestly. Honestly, I love her ad name though, a freaking mood. Mm, that requires lashes. Am I in the mood? I guess I am. <laughs> I think I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because one of my eyebrows have seen better days. Um, I need to get them done, but I'm trying to grow them out because they're a little thin for my liking. Um, so we're working on it under construction. Um, so it just takes me a little concentration to make them look decent I guess you could say so I'm gonna film my eyebrows off camera and then we're gonna hop back on and kind of get into the video I might have to do a voiceover for the sake of time um, because it's 8 45 and I kind of only really have an hour which that may seem like a long time but it's really not. I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see how long it takes me to do my eyebrows <clears throat> that took me way longer than it should have. This eyebrow? <laughs> Ignore her. Don't even show her any attention because <sighs> I like I need to get in the habit of doing this eyebrow first because this eyebrow just gives me such good positive energy. She's just like, bitch, slay. I have concealer in my hair. <sighs> Look. That's how this morning's going so far. Um <laughs> Like, she just gives me positive energy. She's just like, I'm easy to work with. I don't give you any issues, grown out or not. Like, I'm here for you. This bitch over here gives me like, um, she's like the bad kid. Never stays in line. Always giving you a problem. That's um, I will say that I did um, moisturize my face with the old Hendrickson truth sea brush brightening gel cream oh god yeah y'all need to get this i really really love um old Hendrickson's products but it smells like oranges it's um it has three sources of vitamin c and rose and rose of winter extract yeah we love some good vitamin c because we love we love radiance we love brightness so, if you're looking for a good moisturizer, that is the one. That's what I've been using for like the past two weeks. And I woke up and my skin was real moisturized. 
and we're all smashed. Okay, so I'm going to be working with Mr. James Charles today. Um, quick little review on James Charles. Um, I do not hate the James Charles one bit. I really, really wanted, I was looking for a palette that, um, had a lot of bright, fun colors that I could work with. And I think they work pretty well um, if you use it correctly. Um, it's a little bit more work than I would usually put into <clears throat> um, doing shadows, but the payoff is worth it. So I do like the palette. Um, and I guess I could, what? I could go in more depth in another video, but so far so good. What I will say, disclaimer, well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this by now, is that I usually just, when I conceal my eyebrows, I drag down my concealer um, and use that kind of as my base, and then I'll set it with like a setting powder. But for the sake of the James Charles palette, I just go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, because it's tackier um, and it holds the color a lot better. So I use that, and I highly suggest using an eyeshadow primer. Um, like James said, as opposed to a concealer, because I've tried the concealer, I don't hate it, um, but I just like the way that the primer works um, for the shadows a lot better. So, yeah. The one thing I don't like about this primer potion is just that I feel like it doesn't apply evenly. Could be me, but it's a little annoying. Okay, my eyelids are primed as best as possible. Um, so I, from here on out, I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this because I really don't have enough time to sit here and explain and I apologize for that, but there'll be, there'll be plenty more videos to come. So, yeah, we're gonna have to just do a voiceover. <laughs> okay, so first I start off with the Morphe M441 brush. And I use this brush to start my transition shade. Um, and I'll put this in the crease and kind of just do it in a back and forth motion so that I can blend it out. This is why I hate eyeshadow primers because you can see the streaks from the eyeshadow primer, maybe I'm not applying it well, or I need to try using a different brush, but I, excuse me, I hate this. So I just continue to add more color to my um, crease until I'm satisfied with that. But you can see right here that I'm not really happy with the way that it's been blending out. But moving on, we're gonna pack on this brown shade to our lid with our Morphe M433 brush. And that's just to darken up the lid for our smoky eye before we apply our blue shade. And now I'll go back in with our M441, and that's just to blend our crease shade with the lid shade. Okay, let me tell you right now, I am not happy. I'm not happy because this eyelid primer is making my lids super, super dry, and it's making it very, very hard to blend out these shades. Um, I don't know why, I don't know if I put too much, but I am not happy. I'm trying my best to blend, but ooh, child. And it's not the shadows, it's literally the eyelid primer. Um, Urban Decay, fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Because it's just super drying and mattifying. It's like, hello, how am I supposed to blend seamlessly? How? Now, please tell me. Yeah. I mean, I'm working with it, I'm working with it. So now going in with this Urban Decay Dual Ended Brush, I'm going to pick up this blue shade from the palette and kind of pack that onto my lid right on top of the brown.
So going back in with my M433 brush, I'm using whatever product I had left on it just to blend out my crease. And then I'll go back into the palette and grab a little bit more brown just to deepen the crease um, and make it more defined. And then again back in with the M441 just to blend everything out seamlessly and make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going back in and packing on just a little bit more blue just to make sure that it stands out and it's a lot more vibrant. And now I'm taking this medium shadow brush and I'm using just a light cream shade to highlight under my brow. And now using one of my favorite palettes, the Chocolate Gold Palette, we're going to use Drippin' Diamonds to highlight the inner corner of the eye. And now I'll just go in with my Neutrogena Makeup Wipe and wipe off any extra fallout from underneath my eye. So I lost footage of me putting on my lashes, but here I am applying mascara to blend my false lashes with my regular ones. And then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Gel Liner just to line the top of my eye and make sure you can't see the lash band. And then I'll be using my Becca First Light Priming Filter just to prime my face. Okay, so for foundation, I'm actually trying out a new foundation, and it's the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. This one is the medium coverage. I'm just going to show you um, an image of it because I only have a little sample um, because I heard that it oxidizes so I just wanted to see how it worked on my skin before I actually purchased it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just a disclaimer. So I love to use um, a high density brush to put on my foundation. This buffing brush from Real Techniques is probably one of my favorites. I got it like two years ago so I don't even know if they still sell it. Um, but I just like to pack the foundation into my skin as opposed to in a lot more circular motions to avoid streaks on my face. And now with my Born This Way concealer in Golden Beige, I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and on the top of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And using my damp Morphe blender, I'm just gonna blend this out and make sure everything is nice and seamless. And for setting powder today, we're going to go in with the Kat Von D setting powder in Golden. This has become easily one of my favorite setting powders. It's super nice on the skin and definitely does not give flashback in photos. And now going in with my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush and just warm up my face. Then I like to take a deeper bronzer like this Morphe one here and just go over what I've already done just to deepen up my contour. And then just to give me some rosy cheeks, I'll use my NARS Orgasm Blush. And once I finish blush, I like to wipe away the excess setting powder that I have with just a large fluffy brush. And then using this random brush I have, I'm just going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Carly Bebel Palette and use my absolute favorite highlighter that's obviously hitting pan um, just to highlight the cheekbones as well as the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'll just use my stippling brush to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I'll take my MAC Fix Plus, and I like to cover my eyes so I just don't get mascara everywhere, and I'll apply that to make sure everything is nice and set. Um, I really like this angled brush. I like to use it for under my eyes. So I'm going to use the same shade that I used to transition, and I'm going to apply that under my eye just to give it a little smoked out look. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll use Max Lip Liner in Cork just to line my lips. And this nude shade is from ColourPop. It's in the liquid lipstick shade Autocorrect. I really, really like the combination here. And next time, I promise you guys, I am going to try to work on my lighting so that I don't look as washed out and you can really see everything in detail. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I really hope that you like the way that it came out. I really do like the way that it came out despite the struggle to blend. Um, I'm really happy with it. My hair is working with me today. My face, I really, so far, so good with the Becca foundation. Um, I am more of a medium coverage kind of gal. I'm not really into full coverage, so I really do like what it's doing for me right now. So if you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up and like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell button, you know, the whole spiel. Um, and I will see you guys next week with another new video. Mwah.